We're here with Joe Apprendi, CEO of Collective at IB Innovation Days at Internet Week, just off the stage from his panel about the M&A landscape. Joe, are you buying at the moment? And if so, what technologies are you looking at? Well, buying is kind of a derivative after you kind of figure out your entire product strategy and overall business you know, roadmap. But absolutely, in fact, in the last quarter, we made two acquisitions. Um, you'll probably see a common thread with those acquisitions, but largely around video and creative. First acquisition we did was OG Finogi. Uh, huge partner of ours, we were actually a minority investor in them for over two years. We were their number one media partner in terms of incorporating rich media and video ad formats across in-banner and in-stream media. And as a result, became a pretty big cog in the wheel of the delivery and management of uh, display advertising campaigns for brand advertisers. So it made a lot of sense to bring that capability in-house, add that technology to our stack on the buy side, and provide a lot more efficiency to advertisers. The second acquisition was also in video, but also for geographic expansion purposes. We acquired a company called Web TV, based in the UK. We launched Collective UK. Almost a year ago, acquired Web TV this past March, and now we're the number one in-stream video network in the UK, trying to drive that broadcast ad spend among brand advertisers online. But absolutely, we're always looking for smart acquisitions across a lot of categories, but the center of it is technology for buy-side brand advertisers or technology for sell-side brand publishers, which, which is really the clientele we service. When you're evaluating companies, how do you know you're going to pick a winner in terms of, you know, is the technology a fad or is it a real solution? Can they actually deliver on the promises they say their technology can produce? I mean, the first criteria is you need to have focus. Again, you need to clearly understand your business strategy independent of any acquisition that runs across you. You've got to completely see this. How does that map to your overall business and product strategy? And then, okay, does that make sense to engage with this particular company? At that point, it's less about their current product. Yes, does that product fill a need today? Absolutely. But can that team, the talent, the expertise, are they you know, developing in our sector? Do they understand our sector? Do they understand our product vision? How can that team help collective execute against its overall platform strategy? If all that's true, great, engage, let's see if we can make a deal. But at the end of the day, it comes down to valuation. Does that make sense? Return on investment. And once you, and post-transaction, can you retain the team that you value so much and that you're going to depend upon moving forward to kind of take you to that next level of your product? Is there a need in the marketplace that you recognize that you haven't found a solution for yet? I think there's a lot of solutions in the market right now, but I think for us, one of the critical points, and actually uh, Sheila brought it up on the panel today from WPP, is measurement. Um, again, as a, as a media technology provider for brand advertisers, they're trying to understand how display and video make sense from brand efficacy metrics, less about clicks, a lot less about online conversions. That's great for direct marketers, but when you're a brand advertiser, how is this working and what's going to make me shift spend, again, from television and offline spend where $100 billion sits and bring it in online. So I'm looking for companies that can nail that metric conversation, help brands better understand how online compares to where their offline's going so they can make decisions on what my marketing mix is and measure it the right way. Looking for that, haven't seen much of that. Plenty in the mobile and social space right now, which is very interesting, but not enough in the metrics and attribution sector. My next question was going to be, what do you see as kind of the biggest challenge to bringing more brand advertising online? Would you say it's measurement or is it broader than that? Absolutely measurement, number one, but a lot of it is just education. Oh, you know. The brand advertiser, and I also commented this on the panel, I think, look, as an ad technology provider, as an ad network in this business, personally, I've been in this business for over 16 years, you think what we do makes its way direct to marketer, but the reality is a lot of the knowledge, a lot of the intelligence sits on companies like us, sits within some of the digital agencies, doesn't make it to the, uh, the, the traditional agencies, doesn't make it to the strate strategy people that are advising the clients, and certainly doesn't make its way to the big Fortune 1000 advertisers that continue to spend in a way that they're accustomed to. So how does collective, and it really all companies, educate the market direct to advertiser? That's critical. One of our biggest initiatives this year is how do we reach out to these brands tell them about how we deliver audiences at scale in a brand conscious way so they can start seeing display and video play a bigger role in their overall media mix. Wonderful, thank you very much.